So we're talking about free will, but you'll notice that a lot of the articles we read focus more or almost entirely on moral responsibility. So uh, this is page 837 of the Frankfurt article, and you notice he's talking about moral responsibility, moral responsibility, is somebody morally responsible, even if they couldn't have done otherwise, and things like this. And so it's important to get clear on the link between moral responsibility and free will. So most philosophers treat these as very linked terms or very similar terms. So the thought is, what is free will? Like, what is it to have free will for a human to be free? Oh, it's to be, it's to have the capacity to be sort of responsible for the de decisions you make. So, or morally responsible, especially for the decisions you make. So if you don't have free will, the thought is you can't be responsible for anything you're doing. You're just like a machine, uh, something like this. You're not making your own choices. If you do have free will, you can be responsible for the choices that you make. So you made the choices freely. They were your own choices. Nobody forced you to do anything. And so sort of conversely, the thought is, if you're morally responsible for something, oh, this shows you must have had free will. If you uh, are morally responsible for something, but you lack free will, that sort of doesn't make sense. Because again, you need free will for moral responsibility. So the thought is, if we can show that you're morally responsible for something, we've basically shown you have free will. It's kind of like saying the same thing. If I show that you freely did something, this shows that you're responsible for having done it, morally speaking. And so when we're sort of debating is, does this make somebody morally responsible for something? Are you morally responsible in this situation? Can you be responsible even if you were determined? Things like this. This is just another way of talking about, uh, were you, did you have free will when you did it? Were you free? And so um, the existentialists who we saw have like a very wide conception of freedom. They think we have had sort of ultimate freedom. Similarly, they think we're sort of responsible for everything. So there's no sort of excuses for the existentialist. Uh, when you make a decision, you make a decision for all mankind. This is sort of all on your shoulders. Uh, it's kind of bad faith to pretend that you don't have ultimate freedom, things like this. And so the thought is that freedom, free will, and moral responsibility go together. They're basically the same idea described in different ways, or one leads to the other, and the other leads to one.